San Francisco's once bustling downtown streets still struggling to bounce back as retailers continue to flee. The exodus continues. A lot of retailers have been pulling out of the city. In the past few weeks, Westfield announced it's giving up its prominent downtown mall location, while AT&T revealed it is closing its flagship store in the city. The hemorrhaging of businesses, a concerning post-pandemic trend for the city by the bay. According to an analysis by the San Francisco Standard, nearly half of the non-service retailers in the city's Union Square District have closed since 2019. Major stores like Crate and Barrel, Anthropology, and H&M, just a few of the almost 100 shuttered in the last few years, while only 12 stores have opened in that time, according to the standard. The loss of business, just the city's latest obstacle as it grapples with the issues of employers abandoning the city, homelessness, and drugs. It's like a zombie town, you know, there's so many homeless and uh, drug dealers, you know, and it's ridiculous. I cannot even walk with my son on the street. Overdoses in the city up 40% versus this time last year. I spoke with a local bike mechanic recently who said crime at his store has fallen off since the pandemic, but from what he's seen, the drug situation has gotten worse in the neighborhood. What about drug activity on the streets? What do you see about that? That does seem to be worse. It seems like fentanyl has really gotten to a lot more kids. And new data from the University of Toronto School of Cities shows San Francisco ranks last among major U.S. cities when it comes to downtown foot traffic. It's at only 29% of pre-pandemic levels. The city's challenge is becoming a huge political talking point in recent months. The city is not vibrant anymore. Florida governor and Republican presidential candidate Ron DeSantis slamming the city in this video today. Uh, leadership matters. They are doing it wrong here. No wonder why we've had so many people move from San Francisco to Florida. California Governor Gavin Newsom not backing down, defending his state in a recent Fox News interview. Per capita, more Floridians moved to California than California is moving to Florida. The mayor of San Francisco telling me while there are problems, they are overblown. San Francisco has challenges with crime, with public safety, and we're doing everything we can to deal with it. But just because people are seeing it in a more heightened way because of social media videos, it's unfortunately made San Francisco a bit of a target. The city and its leaders facing an uphill battle to get the city back on track. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.